Jesus simply states, I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he or she will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. We have all heard it said over and over again that we desire for God to open doors of opportunity in our lives. And we understand that these doors of opportunity opened by God cannot be closed by any man. However, we must remember that Jesus clearly states that he is the door. And due to the fact that Jesus is the door, we must understand that an open door isn't about God manufacturing his will around our will, but it's about us submitting to the will and the way of God in our lives. So I want you to understand on today, if Christ is the door in your life, allow him to speak to you, allow him to correct you, and allow him to guide you in every experience of him that he wants you to have. And when you allow Christ, my brothers and my sisters, to be the door in your life, there will be nothing that people can do to stop the move of God in your life. So I simply want to encourage you on this Tuesday to allow Jesus to be the door. May we pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we come now thanking you for this, another day that you have allowed us to experience. We thank you, Lord, for being the door in our lives. We thank you for opening yourself up, Lord, and allowing us to dwell in you, Lord, so that we can do what you have called us to do. We understand that it's not about us. And it's all about you, Lord, and we accept this, Lord. So with this acceptance, we ask you, Father, to purge us of any sin that is in our lives. We ask you, Lord, to create in us a clean heart and to renew a steadfast spirit within us as we strive to go boldly into this world on today. We ask you, Father, to give us a heart to submit to your will in your way day in and day out. We ask you to give us a heart to receive what you want us to do and a mindset to complete the tasks that you have given us on our spiritual checklist. But we ask you, Lord, to be with us as we boldly go to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ into this dying world. We ask you, Lord, to heal our bodies, Lord. We ask you, Lord, to be in the midst of our homes. We ask you to be in the midst of our churches, Lord. We ask you to be the guiding force in our ministries, Lord. We ask you to bless our children as they go and as they come on today. We ask you to go in the hospitals, Lord, and be a healing presence to all who are in need of you, Lord. And we ask you, Lord, to prepare our hearts and our minds to do what you have called us to do on today, Lord. We ask you to give us boldness, Lord. In this world, we ask you to make us beacons of light in the midst of the darkness, Lord. We ask you to fall afresh on us right now, giving us the words to say and giving us a mindset to walk in obedience, Lord. And we will be so careful to give your name the praise, the honor, and the glory in all that we say or do, Lord. And we ask you, Lord, to give us the focus to be the bond servants that you have anointed us to be. Give us a mindset to walk in your obedience so that everything we say and everything we do is worship. So we ask you to be with us now, Father, as we prepare to go forth. Fall afresh in our hearts right now, individually and collectively, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory. Forever we pray, amen, amen, and amen. And remember, Jesus is your door. God bless you.